We uh, presented a paper on uh, violence and uh, its existence in, uh, in films and that is sort of format of art. Violence has its roots in uh, human beings' personality. We cannot deny our very instinct. Violence is the uh, reflection of our repulsion, suppression, frustration, depression and so on and so forth. Violence exists everywhere, be it an immaculate piece of literature, be it a, a perfectly crafted play or a thought-provoking film. Every production of art cannot avoid the arrival of violence. It's best to say that uh, art and uh, violence are both interrelated. This strange combination transcends the barrier of multicultural phenomenon and links the citizen of the world through a universal approach. Story of the uh, uh, story of Oedipus uh, Rex, for example. He meets his brutal fate as the very truth holds him uh, as the ultimate culprit. He uh, pierces his either eyes, he blinds himself in the hope that his sins would be redeemed. Similar kind of attitude is visible in Indian myths as well. Kadamba, a humble hunter, a sincere, sincere devotee of Shiva, operates his eyes out or blind himself to stop the bleeding from the eyes of Shivlinga. Uh, his innocence pushes him towards extreme memory. He strongly believes that Lord Shiva is so wounded to see the morally corrupt world that his eyes are slowly bleeding to death. Uh, either story, although uh, bear no resemblance, uh, as long as the uh, block is concerned, still wishes to uh, still wish to express the similar theme, a theme that depicts a world deprived of ethical and moral values. Oedipus discovers the eyes are the most disturbing invention for the gain some forbidden knowledge, and this knowledge uh, led him to commit some brutal things that would turn the social social codes upside down. However, Kanapa, the character found in Indian myths, appears to be an extension of Oedipus Rex, yet he is free, yet he is free from the blemishes which traumatize Oedipus. Kanapa's eyes are written as Lord Shiva is satisfied with his purest submission. Kanapa, like Oedipus, blinds himself as he could not follow the codes and convention of our traditional society. The Lord Shiva delivers him the eyes which are the eyes of knowledge, a new, a new insight. Thus here, Kanapa stands as a person who has been rewarded with the eyes of knowledge. He has to pursue violent measure to achieve this. On the contrary, the same knowledge turns out to be an intense curse as far as uh, Oedipus life is concerned. There were uh, uh, there were many uh, movies uh, utilized violence in an atheistic manner. Here we shall look at one example, uh, the taxi driver. The movie uh, relies on the uh, personal experience of a lone, distant taxi driver, Travis Pickle, an individual discharged from US Marine, a very depressed man who finds shelter in Manhattan, New York. He has a very uh, depressive dying record. He chooses to be a taxi driver. He cannot because he, he, he isn't in, in so many places. I mean, he, he can't. He, he cannot sleep at nights. Uh, to change his destiny, he found a girl. The rejection part forces him to feel that he cannot control his own destiny. I mean, the girl rejects him. He's in love with a with a with a, with a girl, and uh, something happens, and she she just leaves him. And uh, after that, soon after he is being uh, rejected by the girl, he, uh, his psyche succumbs to violence only after being uh, rejected by a girl. These thoughts make him grow weak and the movie beautifully portrays how a wounded mind easily finds solace or easily finds happiness in, in, in the anti-social uh, behavior. Taxi driver Travis Taxi driver Travis is, is refused by Bestie, the girl with whom he is in love with. 
the only girl who made his face glow with happiness. He displaces his entire anger on the presidential candidate for whom best he work. I mean, he doesn't hate president. He has no personal jealousy or whatsoever on, as far as the uh, president, president himself is concerned. But since Besky works for him, somehow he, he displaces his anger on the candidate and, and he attempts. And when his attempts fail, he turns his attention on Iris, uh, a young prostitute, and, and succeeds in saving her. Although Iris is a prostitute and sport is her pimp, these two are truly in love with each other. Travis manipulates freedom on her, on, on Iris. She, uh, uh, well, she, she, she chose to be a prostitute. Although uh, she was 12 years old, she decided to, I mean, that's what, that's, that, that was her own choice to be a prostitute. On the other hand, Travis ma manipulates freedom on her, whether she needs it or not, whether she likes it or not. There's a strange, uh, there's a strange uh, connection between uh, the taxi driver and the very taxi he drives. His violent thoughts uh, cease, to cease to exist when he's inside the taxi. Taxi seems to be the uh, best place to uh, hide his brutal face. But this isolation never lasts as people get into his cab and pretend as if he doesn't exist. Well, this is what I label as actual violence or we can even call it as, uh, as, as untouchability. I mean, nobody, no, no, one, no one talks to Travis as he is the taxi driver. They, uh, you know, they have a conversation with each other. I mean, even that's what we do. We, we never uh, bother who is, uh, you know, driving uh, the taxi. We seem to uh, believe that he doesn't exist at all. That's what happens to uh, Travis, the taxi driver here. Throughout the film, Travis is seen as a constant outsider. He is upset that people in his cab behave as if he doesn't exist. Symbolically, representing New, New York as an extension of the uh, small world of the taxi. This sort of exploitation forces him to hate the black, black, black people, you know, Native Americans who appear to be free and happy. Yeah. Uh, Travis observes black men everywhere. He is preoccupied with the blacks. The eyes of the camera, which are supposed to be the uh, eyes of Travis, concentrate on black people loitering in the streets. These individuals are shot in slow motion, showing that uh, Travis' eyes are struck on them. He is tempted by what he hates. Uh, the first sign of violence arises in Travis when an unknown passenger in his cab wishes to kill his wife for having an adulterous relationship with a native American. The incident in a store forces Travis towards an immediate action. He shoots the end black man who planned to steal money from the shopkeeper. After having shot the end black man, Travis feels relieved. Uh, uh, but the fact of using an unlicensed gun worries him. The shopkeeper on the other hand assures Travis that he will take care of it. Travis actions are thus justified. Hence he feels there are a few people 